Hello Capricorn, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Star Tarot. My darling Capricorn subscribers, ah, I'm back. <laughs> um, firstly, thank you so much for staying loyal and with me. I have been overseas, I moved house, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, and I am now settled and ready to read for you again. So thank you for sticking by me. Um, just a bit of a channel update. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you to whoever it is that has been making donations, anonymous donations to my PayPal account. Um, you know, thank you, thank you so much. When I started this channel, it was never about what I could get in return, about what I could receive. It was always about the message, sharing my gift and being able to help and serve others. Um, so much so that that's why I don't show my face on camera because it's not about me. It's about how I can help you However, if I connect with you and you feel so inclined to make a donation I just think that is a beautiful exchange of energy. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I um, Do put all of that money back into the channel. One of the ways I do that is in purchasing new tarot cards Not that I don't have enough but um, I'm, I'm obsessed with these. They're David Bowie inspired. They have some incredible artwork um, and I've been playing with them for the last couple of weeks to just try and connect with them from an intuitive point of view. Um, apologies too for the lighting. I've been doing these readings all afternoon. It's a very beautiful Sunday afternoon here um, and the light's just starting to stream through the window. So I hope you can still see that clearly. Um, Cappies, I am available for private readings again, so if you do want to connect with me, I've done so many readings for Capricorns, if you do want to connect with me and get a private reading, um, the details are in the description bar below. Um, nothing's changed in terms of um, price, okay, or um, uh, uh, time. The only thing that's different is I'm now doing a 12-month yearly forecast for 2019 so if you're wanting to have your uh, 2019 year predicted for you I am offering that reading until the end of the year um, it's quite an in-depth detailed reading it's not your usual tower reading I go month by month and I look at everything look at career health wealth fitness um, you, you name it destiny everything okay um, and if you can't quite extend for one of those, just know that I will be doing them for the channel for each sign as a general read for 12 months for 2019 and I'll upload them by the 9th, uh, 29th of November. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, there's a lot going on from astrology point of view. Um, cancer, the North Node has moved into Cancer out of our sign, but we're still going to find that push-pull. There's a million different eclipses that are coming up for us next year. Um, but the important ones to know is Venus is going direct on the 16th, um, on the 17th. Um, so know that whatever lessons you've gone through, that cycle has ended and your new love cycle is about to begin. Um, Mercury retrograde starts, however, on the 16th. So it's not the ideal time to travel. Um, you could expect delays. Um, it's, your communication might be off. Um, and don't buy any technology, okay? You can find things like emails aren't sent. Just be very careful um, with your technology. All right, Capricorn, let's get to love because there is a lot there and I'm very excited for you. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. I'm really hoping you can see that clearly. Um, the Eight of Swords speaks about a feeling of being trapped, okay, when it comes to love. Um, and it's coupled with the moon. So it could be um, that you, Capricorn, were in a position with a Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is particularly um, Pisces where um, they've come in either thick and fast or um, it was someone you were dealing with from your past because I do have the Six of Cups here. It could be someone from past life, but it could just feel like um, you're feeling a sense of trap, entrap entrapment as you come into this weekend. It's like, oh my gosh, um, uh, you know, where did this come from? Is this really what I want? Is this really what I want to manifest? And it's all happening so fast. There's so many changes. And Capricorn, I can't blame you. You know, we've got Saturn in our sign. Uh, in our first house, we've got Pluto that we're dealing with. We're literally going through this entire crazy uh, transformation. And unless you're a Capricorn, you don't get it. I get it, right? I'm a Capricorn. You guys know that. Um, I think the important thing to do is to remember with the energy of this card is that you never really are trapped, right? It's all an illusion. That's why she's kind of dressed up what looks like she's um, a, a mummy. Gosh, the lighting is so bad. Um, but she's not. She's. It's like it's a... Um, magic trick okay if she just took her blindfold off 
or in this case, open her eyes, she could see how she could get herself out of the situation. Swords and mental energy. Okay, Capricorn. So if this is making sense with you, it's all in your head. Okay, you don't need to. You don't need to manifest the worst. Okay, and I say that because you have one of the very best love spreads I've seen in a long time. I, Capricorn, I've been going on about this for ages, and I've been telling you it's coming. This great love is coming. Capricorn, I feel for a lot of you, it's here, okay? Like, you won't believe how these cards have laid out. You have, you're starting off this period this week with death, with transformation, the card of Scorpio. So, again, I've said water sign before, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but for some of you, it could be a Scorpio that's really prevalent. prevalent. For others, it's a Pisces. And for some of you, I also have Taurus and Leo. Um, I have fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, they're the signs I'm getting. Don't worry about it too much because it depends on their rising sign, their Venus, a whole range of things. What I do want you to know, though, is death speaks about transformation, okay? The whole point of Venus retrograde, which happens every 584 days, is about out with the old, in with the new. It's about taking a refresh, a look at the past of what and who we were in our relationships and we what we want to come in, what we want to give, how we want to... Um, live our lives with what kind of partner all those kind of questions right you're going through that process Capricorn if you haven't already now the Queen of Wands here could represent you you could have fire in your chart you could be a Capricorn with fire rising Aries Leo or Sagittarius or this could be a love interest if you are in a committed relationship it could be about beginning anew with your partner and starting a new cycle and I say that because at the very basis of this reading Capricorn I have the two of cups soulmate kind of energy twin flame um it's balanced it's even give and take okay but what you also have on the flip side of that as you go into the weekend is the ace of cups yeah capricorn literally side by side so it's like a brand new commitment in love you could be committing to someone this week capricorn it's it could be for some of you a very brand new love a very passionate fiery sexual can't keep your hands off each other kind of love for others of you it could be about a resurrection in an old love you could be getting back with a pisces you could be getting back with a leo or a taurus um uh however it plays out for you okay but i just want you to know that this two of cups is not in your imagination this connection that you feel is very real capricorn even though that you've gone through a transformation and massive life change to get there it's real and it's here. As I said, as you get to the weekend, you, um, I feel like as Venus goes direct, as you get to the weekend, uh, you're going to start to really see things clearly. So any kind of hesitation, <laughs> this feeling of smothered or entrapment or un uncertainty might be the right word. Um, it will fade away and you'll become very clear, okay? Someone is trying to offer you a beautiful, uh, everlasting love Capricorn, okay? This is, and I say that because as you get to the weekend, you have the Prince of Cups here, okay? Again, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it, it's someone giving me their cup of love. I feel like as you get to the weekend, as soon as Venus goes direct, so the Saturday the 17th maybe, um, 17 could be very powerful for you Capricorn someone's going to offer their cup of love they're going to be like look I don't need any more time I know you're the one for me be mine <laughs> really that kind of direct and straightforward Capricorn because you know you've got the queen of wands it's just I know I'm sure I'm going for it it could be that your love interest has water with a rising fire as well um, yeah because you you know you have the two of cups you have the card of strength and you have the ace of cups. <laughs> so it's almost like if this is something you've been trying to manifest Capricorn, it's here, baby. <laughs> it's very much here. Um, and you can't escape it. Like you might have this feeling, this eight, this feeling of feeling trapped. Um, but it's like the universe is going, no, this is the right person for you. There's no more time being wasted. Or it could be the, the reverse, okay? Eights are karmic. It could very much be that you have um, two eights here, okay? Eight of swords, and you have the card of the major arcana, Leo, eight. So it could be, this speaks about infinity. It could be that this is your twin flame. It's like you've done all the work, he's done all the work, she's done all the work, and now it's like you can't escape it because it's meant to be. 
Okay. Now, Capricorn, I do um, have the Empress here. As you get to the weekend, I have the Empress coupled with the Four of Cups. Okay. So the Four of Cups speaks about um, when it comes to love and it's very basic form. It's kind of like being bored, being unhappy, um, not wanting to someone's trying to give you their cup of love and you're like, oh, I don't want it. Capricorn, it could very well be that you have more than one offer. Okay, you're very popular right now. It could be that you have all of these signs interested in you. There could be a water sign, there could be a Pisces, there could be Cancer and a Scorpio. There could be double Pisces, there could be fire, there could be a Scorpio. Again, I think I said that there could be a Leo. Like you're radiating this kind of energy at the moment, Capricorn. And it could be a Taurus. And it could just be that some of the person that offers you that cup is not the one that you want because you have three other cups there, three other suitors, three other people, and you're trying to find your way through. Um, if that is resonating with you, Capricorn, by the time the weekend comes, you do choose just one. Okay. Whether you um, openly discuss that with the person that you choose and you make a commitment or whether you just make that choice in your heart and you're like, I'm going to let these other ones go and see where this path goes because I feel it so strongly. Um, for others of you and a small, a very small percentage of you, you could be finding out this week that you are pregnant. You have the Empress coupled with the Ace of Cups. If you are pregnant, it will be a little girl. Okay. A little strong little girl. Um, sorry to ruin the surprise of your waiting, <laughs> but for some of you, definitely you're finding out you're pregnant this week. Okay. These cards of Empress speaks about being coming a mother and fertility and this speaks about, um, a new little girl coming through. Um, but a very small number of you, for some of you, it could be that you're not ready to be a mother and this is not the news that you wanted. It's kind of like a little bit of a, oh no, this is not what I was expecting. However, for the majority of you, what I'm seeing is that um, you are, there's this new love come energy coming in. The Two of Cups, the Card of Strength, the Ace of Cups and the Prince of Cups. Like Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, Prince of Cups. Look at that triangle. I want to give you my cup of love. I feel equal. Um, let's start something new. It's just like it, there's no escaping it, right? And Capricorn, I feel like it could be very intense. It's just like out of nowhere, this intensity, which is why you're having that feeling of being trapped, okay? Um, but my advice here is whoever this person is that's giving it to you, if it's um, this Pisces, because I have the moon, if it's the Taurus, if it's the Leo, if it's the Scorpio, whoever it is, they are genuine Capricorn. This, don't fight this connection. Don't question this connection. It is very real. It is, it is everything that you've been hoping for. And if you are a person that believes in manifestation and you've been really trying to draw it in, it's like that new moon came in on the, on the 7th of this month, on the 7th of November. It's like, all right, here you go. And you would have met this person shortly after that. Um, all right, let's draw for you some additional guidance card. cards. Can I please have some additional guidance for sign of Capricorn? There it is. Singles, another two. Listen, this is also the High Priestess. You've got two on two Capricorn. If that's not a sign of divine union, masculine and feminine uh, twin flames, I don't know what is. Um, couples, please show me for couples. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so couples, I know I didn't touch on this a lot because there's a lot here for singles or people that are trying to get into new connections. But couples, I want you to know it's about taking it to the next level. You have this beautiful card of um, loyal heart, okay? It's just stunning. Like, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better reading, Capricorn. And you know, you've gone through so much. It's only going to get better and better from here on out. And I'm not exaggerating. It's just, I know. I know it. All right, listen, okay, single Capricorns. See, hear, sense, quiet, intuition, and knowing. Take a moment to quiet your mental chatter and listen. <laughs> what does that say about mental chatter? About <laughs> being in your head? Mm. <laughs> All right, ready? Um, it's important to pay attention to what the other person is really saying in relationships. Too often in conversations, you're already planning what you're going to say while the other person is still talking. You make assumptions about where the conversation is going and plan your part of the conversation accordingly. 
even working the conversation towards a high outcome for you. Mm, do we do that, Cappies? I don't know. When this happens, you don't truly hear what the other person has said, and in doing so, you weren't present for that person. Listening starts with becoming quiet, centered and totally present. Listening involves many senses. Use your eyes to see the body language of the other person. Use your ears to not only hear the words spoken, but also the tone used to express them. Use your intuition to get a sense of what the other person is really saying and feeling. Um, and overall, use your intuition to guide you. Intuition often helps you hear what is not said as well as what is said. This is a crucial to understanding the person or the situation. Understanding is essential to improving the relationship or situation you're currently in. Remember once again to center yourself and use all of your senses to understand what is actually being communicated. Remember what I said about Mercury going retrograde? It's gonna be communication is gonna be a little bit dodgy. Listening is a gift. Give this gift to your partner, parents, children, friends, coworkers, pets, and anyone you meet. Most importantly, give this gift to yourself. Tune in to your mind, body, and soul. Are you listening? What do you hear? Wow, Capricorn, deep. It's always deep with you. Um, <laughs> there's an affirmation that says, I honor myself by being present and truly listening to the messages that I hear. It's just on the two of cups. I'm just going to say that. All right, Capricorn. Those that are in couples, 35, loyal heart. Um, beautiful card. I did talk about soulmates, right? Um, da, 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 da. Where is it? Okay, and it says, fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Wow, Capricorn. So for some of you, I do see you getting into a new connection. Look at this. It's definitely twin flame, kindred spirit, soulmate. You all know what the situation is for you, but it's something beautiful. Someone's offering you their cup of love um, and it's for something concrete. It's not just, I want to date you or I want to sleep with you. It's like I potentially could see spending the rest of my life with you. Um, and that's beautiful Capricorn and if this is happening for you if you are pregnant and waiting to uh, have a child if you're finding out that you are pregnant this week whatever the joy is I wish you all the very best if you liked this video please hit the like button and I'll be back with you next week take care